you doing today? Great. Yeah, yeah. I need a little bit more enthusiasm, a little bit more energy. It's Friday. Yeah. Turn up. Yes. <laughs> much, much better. Well, today we are going to be talking about thesis. So when you hear the word thesis in context of, let's say, writing a paper, what is the first thing that you think of? It can be a term or a phrase. Just what do you think? I think the subject. You think about the subject. Readers. You think about the readers. Okay, I like that. So the basic definition of a thesis is a statement that's put forward as a proposition that you are going to argue or maintain. So that is the dictionary de definition. It's a little boring and sometimes it's hard to remember. So I came up with a little chant, a little rhyme or something for you guys so that way y'all can remember it. And so I'm gonna say it to you guys and hope you like it, all right? So a thesis is a sentence that you are writing for your readers, gives them a reason for reading, tells them what you're believing, okay? So I'm gonna say it again. This time I got it up here on the board. I want y'all to say it with me, okay? So, a thesis is a sentence that you are writing for your readers, tells them what you're believing, gives them a reason for reading. Okay, when you hear this, the most important part of this that I want you all to understand is tells them what you're believing, and it gives them a reason for reading. So, what do we call a reader's reason for reading? Starts with the P. Purpose. The purpose, exactly. When you give a thesis, you are identifying and stating your purpose for writing, and it lets your reader know what is it that I'm supposed to be reading about, what am I supposed to gain from this. So, when I look at this, there are three different parts of the thesis that I want to identify to help make a strong thesis. And the way that I'm going to demonstrate this for you all is going to be like a stool, all right? We're going to have our stool, and the top is going to be the actual thesis. So, when you have your thesis, it's just sitting there. We need support, we need something to make it strong, to make sure it stands up throughout the course of our writing. So, this first bar that we wanna have, this first leg of support, is going to be what you're believing. So if we're trying to identify what we're believing, we are trying to establish what it is we're writing about. Your thesis should make that clear to your audience. If we are talking about, let's say, LeBron James and Michael Jordan, you are trying to argue that, you know, Michael Jordan's better. That's the argument that you want to make. You want that to be conveyed as clearly as possible. Now, in order to convey that, in order to, um, let's say, make sure that people understand that, you want to address the reader, right? You want them to know exactly who it is that's going to be reading this, because it's probably going to be who reading this. A person who plays basketball, somebody who likes sports. So we want to identify our audience. And that is going to be our second leg. And the leg in the center that's going to hold it together and tie it all together is going to be the strength. So you want your thesis to be specific. You want to make sure that in your thesis, you're giving yourself a guide. Look at it like a compass. Your thesis is the direction that you're taking your paper. The more detailed and the more specific you are, the more you, details that you give yourself to write about. So if you're gonna talk about stats, you can say, the re because based off of, yes, based off of stats, based off of championships, and based off of style of play, I believe that Michael Jordan is the best player between him and LeBron James. Right there, you gave yourself three paragraphs. With your introduction and with your conclusion statement, guess what? You got yourself a whole essay, all because in your thesis, you were specific, okay? So just for review of purposes, what is the main thing we want to take away from our thesis, about our thesis? What do we want to know? Tells them what you're believing. And it's going to what? Give them readers. And who's the them? The audience. The audience, our readers, exactly. So, any other questions or comments that we have about our thesis statement. Thank you guys so much for listening today and being such a great class. I look forward to seeing you all later. You all have a good day. All right.